An investigation is underway after a video surfaced on social media over the weekend from Friday night's boys basketball game between Graham Forks, Red River, and Shanley. In the video, a player from Graham Forks can be seen punching a Shanley player in the back of the head. Valley News Team's Kirsty Monet joins us now live in studio with the latest in the investigation. Kirsty, Courtney, in this video you see behind me, as the clock kick ticks down to the game's final few seconds, Shanley was up seven points. And as the final buzzer sounds, number two for the Rough Riders throws a punch to the back of the head of a Deacons player. Here's video of what happened seconds before the punch. Now you can see number two going in quite aggressively for a rebound there. The Deacons head to the free throw line. You can hear the crowd chanting. The first free throw is made and the Rough Riders get the second rebound or get the rebound on the second shot. After some back and forth, the Rough Riders miss two three-point attempts. Immediately after the punch is thrown, both sides walk off the court and take their turn in line to shake hands before each team heads to the locker room. Today, I gathered several statements regarding this investigation. Activities Director Reggie Jackson released a statement as well as media specialist with the North Dakota High School Activities Association, Tom Nix, who says the NDHSAA is aware of the incident during the Grand Forks Red River at Fargo Shanley Boys Basketball Game on Friday, February 16th, 2024, and is working with the administration at Grand Forks Red River High School as they address the situation. The NDHSAA cannot comment further due to student confidentiality laws. And Reggie Jackson with Shanley says, the incident was reported to the NDHSAA, Red River High School, and Fargo Police Department on Friday night. It happened at the end of the game. Officials did not see it. Shanley will respect the process and trust that this will be handled appropriately. I also reached out to the Grand Forks School District who says they can't comment on the situation. Grand Forks Red River Boys' basketball team is scheduled to play tomorrow against West Fargo Horace at home. And yes, we're wondering just like you are if number two will be playing or not. Courtney? Kirstie, thanks so much. The Rough Riders have a losing record in the Eastern Dakota Conference, 12-3. They played Shanley earlier in the year when they won 69-67. We can also confirm tonight a police report was filed for this incident. However, no arrests have been made. Let's turn our attention now to the weather and get the latest on what's to come from our chief meteorologist, Russ Thomas. Russ, you had a...